Despite an increase in COVID cases, Arkansas schools getting ready to go back to class this fall. But so far, the state has not issued any guidance for districts on how to safely go back to class. 5 News reporter Catherine Gilker spoke to local districts in the River Valley in northwest Arkansas and breaks down the struggle now that we're working through before the first day of class. Arkansas school districts are required to submit ready for learning plans to the state to safely return to school during the ongoing pandemic. But most districts haven't done that yet because they are waiting on back to school guidance from the Arkansas Department of Health. Fort Smith schools say they have already begun planning while waiting on critical guidance to move forward. It's a similar story for the Bentonville School District. It says it will update its plan once it gets feedback from the state. We reached out to the Arkansas Department of Health who said they will be releasing back to school guidance for school districts, but those plans have not been finalized yet. Jennifer Gordon has a son going into the 10th grade at Rogers School District. I have done what I can to protect him, and I know that he will do what he can. A new state law doesn't allow school districts to require masks, but parents can ask their children to wear them. Gordon says her son is vaccinated and plans to still wear a mask. I know he's not going to have issues if people try to make fun of him or anything like that. I know he's not the kind of people who will make fun of someone for wearing a mask. He's not going to care if they make fun of him. Dr. Ann McIntyre is an infectious disease specialist and encourages parents to speak with a pediatrician and get all children 12 years and older vaccinated before school starts. Get an informed decision as to whether or not they have any reasons not to get the vaccine. The vast majority of children that are eligible for the vaccine can get the vaccine, and this would protect them. And for the school-aged kids who are under 12 and can't get vaccinated, it's important that other people in their household get the vaccine to help protect them. She says the Delta variant we are seeing now is highly transmissible and can be passed from person to person very rapidly. Hope that some individuals that get the disease will be asymptomatic. They may not feel any consequences due to getting the virus. But unfortunately, there are some that do get sick. And we are actually uh, seeing that there's oftentimes no rhyme, rhyme or reason. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. It is not clear when the state plans to share its guidelines to schools. We'll, of course, keep you posted once those guidelines are posted. Fayetteville High School hosting a vaccination clinic, by the way, for students ahead of the new school year. It's happening this Friday at the high school's Bulldog Lobby. Vaccinations are scheduled to begin at 8.30 Friday morning. That free clinic will wrap up around 12.30.